About ready for kickoff here, it is going to be Aston Villa to get things underway. The Wednesday fans are over the, to the far side from where we're sat, uh, in the corner, and they're making plenty of noise at the moment. You can pick out Tango at the front there, shirtless as usual. And Wednesday in their chain strip today of black and orange, and Aston Villa in the claret and blue, John Pearson. What do you expect from this one? Well, I think when you uh, when you get the fixtures out at the start of the season, this is a game that you'd be looking forward to. Free kick here for Villa, taken long, up towards Codger, headed out of play for a throw-in on this near side. We've had 11 minutes here on BBC Radio Sheffield. Ball forward by uh, Bree, off the Wednesday man, out of play for a throw. Really cagey game so far. Bree's going to take it. He's going to throw it to the edge of the box, looking for Codger. Codger tries to shield the ball from Sesso, and then the ball over the top, and straight through to the goalkeeper there. Kieran Westwood, who will kick long and quick, looking for Winnell. It wasn't a bad idea, almost found him as well. Yedinak got an important header in there. Now Bannon across towards the right-hand side. Ball forward from Sasso, not a bad one. Seeks out. Chance Rhodes. here. Great header by Rhodes to Winnell! Oh. Just wide. But you can see the front two linking up superbly there. Rhodes is knocked down towards Sam Winnell and the shot just wide, John. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a great ball. Villa fans... Silent so far. <laughs> it's all ends, isn't it? I mean, I mean, and this is full today. There are not many yeah. uh, spare seats around Villa Park. And if the Wednesday fans weren't making noise over there, we'd be sat in the library. As uh, the ball oh, is given away here to Reach, they'll be even quieter if this goes in here. As Reach gets to the edge of the box, slips it in. It's a shot. It's oh. saved. It was Winnell's effort. Johnston with the save with his feet. And Villa survived John Pearson with the best chance of the game so yeah, far. I mean, it's a poor clearance and it goes straight to Adam Reach and he's run with it 20 yards and slips Sam Winnell in. It's a difficult opportunity, it's going across his body. And the Scott Hogan, the big signing they made in the January transfer window, not fit. As this ball's forward now for Codger and his shot saved by Westwood. He just got in behind there and that's he did. dangerous for Wednesday because they just... Fell asleep a little bit, Codger coasted in, Winnell's headed towards Rhodes now at the other end, the quick kick from Westwood working. It's cleared as far as Reach, Reach to Rhodes. Oh, Wallace. Now Wallace will shoot, it's Wallace's shot, but it's blocked. Game suddenly bursts into life, as here come Aston Villa on the block, it's a Mavi down the left-hand side. He's got Codger in the middle, it's crossed in, Westwood comes and will take that one, and may just calm things down here, John. Well, end-to-end -end end -end stuff at the moment. Ball headed forward by uh, Yedinak here towards Leuvens. Now here's Fox back to Leuvens. Leuvens' pass inside finds Jones in a bit of space here. Jones and Bannon finding plenty of space and Great. the time to play ball. the pass in here. Here is Rhodes. Rhodes down the left channel. Winnell getting into the middle, but Rhodes can't pick him out. It was a terrific run by Winnell. He made that right kind of run. He's got a step on the defender. From the left-hand side, left-footed, drills it deep towards Winnell, who heads it towards Rhodes. That was a nicely worked corner. Winnell headed it towards the far post where Rhodes was. Scored a nice goal against Burton. He's looking to be provider here as it goes into the near post, headed away by Villa. They clear it as far as Bannon. Now Leuvens works it back towards Wallace. Wallace, nice bit of skill. Whips in across deep. It's a chance. It's no! Winnell! It's headed it's in! Offside. And it's a goal, but the offside flag is up. And Sasso headed it home. But the flag up on the far side again. A well-worked move by Wednesday. I think it was Winnell's header across. Sasso and Rhodes were lurking. I think it was Sasso who got the final touch. And uh, if that little chat there um, with Steve Bruce was going to inspire Villa, it was kind of slow and ponderous again there, but now they quicken things up. Tross comes in from Amavi. It's to the far post. It's Bree into the side netting. Didn't really connect with it there, James Bree. who got into a really good position from fullback. In a much better yeah. game as it's gone on here. I've enjoyed it so far. I think we've played uh, really well, to be fair. Bannon. Bannon loses out there, though. Here's Hutton. Hutton on the right-hand side. Wednesday conceding possession in a dangerous spot here. Hutton has no options, and you can hear the crowd getting frustrated. What a cross, though. Where did he pick that one out from? And it's gone behind for the corner. He, Hutton with no backlift from a standing start. So the corner from the right-hand side, they've not picked Bree up here at all. He's taken the corner short, he's given it back to the corner taker, it's clear to the far post, it's a goal! It is a goal for Jonathan Codger, the man who scored 30 
87% of Aston Villa's goal this season has got another one. It is poor defending from Wednesday from the corner, taken short, whipped into the far post. Codger's header, 1 0 Villa. Not picking up the man from the short corner. And Bree just left Bannon there, and Bannon didn't go with him. And the short corner was there, there was two guys over, the cross, better angle for it, deep to the far post. Codger's header, he doesn't miss from there. Here is Reach at the other end, Wednesday looking for a response though. Well. Play by Reach, he's crossed it in towards Winnell, and now it's a chance for Wallace! Oh. He struck it wide, great dummy by Winnell, picked out Wallace. Thought he was going to blast that into the top corner, John, for an immediate reply. That is Jones. Jones is ball forward, it's uh, worked backwards now towards Sasso. Oh, good touch. And uh, Sasso has lunged in, that was dangerous. He's, and he's set off, he's set no. Sasso off. Carvalho what can't believe joke. it. And uh, Sasso has gone in, and Carvalho is, I don't know whether he's claiming he's dived there or what, but it was a high challenge. And The referee deep in discussion with the Wednesday head coach, but Wednesday down to ten men, and it is the... Nightmare start, really, to the second half. Losing the central defender two minutes in. And uh, how are Wednesday going to oh. reshape things here? What's happened now? He sent Carlos to the stands now. Well, He's uh, on his own now in the technical area. Well, Fox has gone to centre-half. Reach has gone to left-back. Wednesday do not have depth at centre-half, John. And we know we've been talking about the players that are out at the moment. Tom Lees is injured. And... Um, well, straight Sam red. Hutchinson what, what out. Was that straight red? So well, with Sam Hutchinson games? out, but it's, I mean, they can appeal it. They, they might have to appeal that now to try and win it to get them back because they haven't got a centre half. I mean, it's going to have to be somebody filling in there. Now, here is Rodoma at the other end trying to compound the matter here as it comes across and Hutton has missed it. What a chance. Hutton on the penalty spot. Looks if it was going to be 2 0. He's uh, closed down by Adoma and goes backwards now towards Fox. Here's Bannon. Bannon over the top, looking for reach. Good ball, reach, good control. Touch. Here's an opportunity. Ball in towards Winnell. Oh, he's poked it wide. Great chance for Wednesday. Reach with a great control, moved it in towards Winnell, and he toe poked it forward. And his chest up. Rhodes tries to win it back. Nice chasing there from Jones and Rhodes, but Villa hold on to the ball. They're making the ball work now. As the ball's lifted over the top, looking for Codger. Who will get there and will keep it in? Flips it back towards Amavi. Amavi backwards here now, towards Taylor. Taylor across under pressure from Rhodes. But then Garner just steps away from him, slips Still it across. Onside. Adoma on site has pulled it back. It's Connor Hurahan for Villa, and he's passed it just wide. It was inches past the post. It was there for Villa again. They've had a couple of chances to go 2 0 up, not taken them. Control in the midfield for most of the game. It's a great ball out to Jack Hunt from Barron. Here is Hunt, he's played it across towards Rhodes, it was good from Hunt as well to find Rhodes. Rhodes, I think, was uh, imagining the bounce was going to go behind for the corner, it hasn't, and Rhodes in the end has to just uh, shield the ball away from the Villa man and allow it to bounce down for a throw-in. Wednesday still inside Villa's half, though, by the corner flag. Thrown in towards Wallace. Back over towards Adam Reach. Reach to Bannon. Bannon's cross, it's flicked on, here's a chance, it's Hunter goes down, and it looks like a oh, penalty. No. How it is that not a penalty? Given. How is that not a penalty? Wednesday continue to have a couple of subs warming up, they are Will Buckley and Ati Nuyu. Hurahan for Villa, Hutton flicks it on, Adoma looks for Kodja, Adoma again. Edge of the box, Adoma in towards oh. Kodja, and Kodja rounds the keeper and scores! It's a sumptuous goal from Kodja. It always seems to be him for Villa, and it has been the case today as well. Ten-man Sheffield Wednesday will point to the red card for Sasso and the penalty that wasn't given. But Kodja has scored twice, and Aston Villa look like they're going to win this game. Villa 2, Wednesday 0. These, they're going to have to play someone who is a makeshift central defender. Here is Hunt. I think the pos other positive thing is if they can get Sam Hutchinson back soon, Jones is looking like the kind of player you thought he would be when Wednesday signed him in yeah, the summer. He has played well today. I, I, I can't criticise his performance today. No. It's the circumstances, really, of the game that have dictated what has happened here. I mean, at half-time it was 1-0 to Villa, but 
fairly evenly poised overall. Are you confident at half time? You think, yeah, 1 0 down, we don't really deserve it, but fair play, Villa, that's what happens. You think second half, looking forward to it, looking forward to us, you know, getting back in the game. Here's Hunt for Wednesday on the right hand side, gets into the box, shoots towards goal, and it is spilled by Johnston, but he gets it at the second attempt. He uh, walks up towards halfway. He's going to dominate the conversation on this. If you know someone who's been to the game and who's seen this, tell them to give us a call and give us their take on it as the full-time whistle goes. With praise or grumble on the way from five, votable one for two seven nine double six double nine. Two goals from Jonathan Codger win it, but only tells a small part of the story here, John.